the building's separated into three basic uh, components. We are the motion picture, broadcast, and recorded sound division of the library. The first floor is the moving image section. The second floor that we'll get to is the recorded sound section. And the third floor is basically the laboratories, both audio and visual laboratories. So, years and years and years. Um, so when we, we, we bring the unwashed, uh, we, we like to show them the fact that we get all kinds of formats. Um, in the film formats, we, you know, we get like today, we we'll stick it a 35 millimeter print of such classics as Night at the Museum, Battle of the Smithsonian, <laughs> um, 16, and, and that's cool. We, we, we got that down. It's when you move over into video. Yeah. You get two inch. And when was the last time they made a two inch machine? I think it was 40 some odd years ago. Two inch, one inch. And then we move to three core, VHS, we get digibated, did beta SP. We get reel to reel video. These are the paper prints. And um, the, the trick with the paper prints, the the whole history of how motion pictures were and weren't copyrighted is is absolutely heartbreaking. Like I tell people, I have this I have the receipt sitting on my desk from London after midnight where um, the studio wrote and said, please return one or both of the prints that we've submitted to you for copyright. The trick to that with is, is the one or both. The library was fully within its right to keep one copy. Mm. If they'd have kept one copy of mm. one <laughs> <laughs> uh, But before people submitted prints, before 1912, there was no provision in the copyright law for motion picture film. There was for photographs. So, because the copyright law, this is a case where we actually have stuff that we would not have otherwise had. I think there's 3,500 titles in, in, the, in the paper print collection. And of course we can, you know, there have been a number of efforts. The Academy went through an effort and the UCLA went through an effort. Um, We've gone through an effort to, you can re-shoot uh, these and turn them back into film. In the old days, they'd take a picture, they'd move up kind of eyeball, take a picture, move it up kind of eyeball, take a picture. Well, now with video, with uh, computer stabilization, we can make these things just rock solid. Um, we actually have a brand new scanner on, on order that, that can scan opaque material. And the nice thing about it is it can also do extremely damaged film material. That 32 days it took to do way out west, we can probably cut that down to four or five days with this new scanner.